We have to follow our instincts, no matter where they lead us. Everything okay? What are we gonna do? Nothing? When an investigation hits a wall, the best thing you can do is nothing. People are gonna die. <laughs> This is Daniel Ezra. Don't miss a new episode of All American this Monday at 8, 7 central on The CW. Now at 10, a twist in a high school shooting case. Tonight, the parents of the suspected gunman are considered fugitives, just as disturbing text messages and Instagram posts are revealed. Also, terror at the front door. The home invasion robbery with thieves wearing police tactical vests putting residents on high alert. And a mystery in West Hollywood after a fun night out turns into a nightmare. The unprovoked attack putting a man in the hospital for weeks now on the News at 10. Good evening, I'm Cher Calvin. And I'm Rick Chambers in tonight for MICA. We want to begin with that breaking news. The U.S. Marshals have announced a reward now in the manhunt for the parents of a teenage shooting suspect who's accused of killing four people at a Michigan high school. Those parents have each been charged with involuntary manslaughter in connection with the shooting, but have since disappeared. KTLA's Mary Beth McDade is live in our news center with the latest developments. Mary Beth. Rick and Cher, that's right, the parents have vanished. They were supposed to show up for their arraignment today, but didn't. Tonight, the U.S. Marshals is assisting other law enforcement with the manhunt. For our students, Lord, in your mercy. The Oxford High School community came together tonight to pray for the lives lost and for those who were injured and traumatized by the deadly shooting. Earlier today, the Oakland County prosecutor announced that she's charging the suspected shooter's parents, Jennifer and James Crumbly, with four counts each of involuntary manslaughter. While the shooter was the one who entered the high school and pulled the trigger, there are other individuals who contributed to this, to the events on November 30th. Their 15-year-old son, Ethan, is facing two dozen charges for allegedly killing four of his classmates and injuring seven others. Prosecutors believe his parents are complicit. They say four days prior to the shooting, James, accompanied by his son, bought the gun that was allegedly used. Ethan Crumbly's social media posts reveal photos of the semi-automatic handgun, along with the caption, just got my new beauty today. The next day, prosecutors say Jennifer posted on social media, saying her son was testing out his new Christmas present. Then, in days leading up to the shooting, a teacher saw the teen searching for ammunition on his cell phone during class and reported it to school officials. His mother was contacted through voicemail and email about her son's web search. She texted her son. LOL, I'm not mad at you. You have to learn not to get caught. On the day of the shooting, a teacher discovered a disturbing drawing on their son's desk of a semi-automatic handgun, pointing at the words, the thoughts won't stop, help me. In another section of the note was a drawing of a bullet with the following words above that bullet, quote, blood everywhere, end quote. Between the drawing of the gun and the bullet is a drawing of a person who appears to have been shot twice and bleeding. Other quotes on the note, my life is useless. And the world is dead. Prosecutors say his parents were summoned to the school for a meeting and shown the drawings. During the meeting, they never revealed the teen had access to a gun that was kept in an unlocked drawer in their bedroom. They were told to get their son counseling within 48 hours, and then he was allowed to return to class. A short time later, the teen allegedly went on a shooting rampage. When news at the school...